Hello, welcome back to another Cheapest Keepers. Last video, I did the House of Mystery, and for sure, I'm doing House of Secrets today. Originally, I planned to include Hulk as well, but A, unfortunately, I still cannot get to my bank, the vault, so I'm not sure if I can ever get those books soon enough for the next video, but I figure there's not a lot of Hulk that I'm keeping and certainly not a lot of Iron Man I'm keeping, so I can certainly lump those two into the next video, even if I don't get to the bank. Vote. So today, House of Secrets, I picked out 12 books. As with House of Mystery, I sold everything else. I have sold everything that I didn't want and everything here is what I planned to keep. And if you don't see a, a great cover in here, it's not because I didn't keep it. Most likely because I didn't have it or never had it, okay? I don't own every single Bernie Rison or Neil Adams horror covers. I don't. First up, issue 88. I own a couple copies of this book and they are all pretty nice, but they are poorly centered and this is I think the nicest one as far as centering for those that are familiar with issue 88. You're familiar that they all are cut off here, some worse than other, right? But here's a beautiful copy. Most of these books are between 8.5 to 9.6, okay? And like my House of Mystery, even the mid-grade 8.5 are really, really good looking book. Like this one, I would say is like a, you know, 9.0-ish. Beautiful Neil Adams cover. This one might be the lowest grade copy of uh, The Keepers, issue 90. I, I grade it as an 8.5. Tough books to find in higher grade, raw, that's for sure, okay? But as you can see, even at 8.5, very few spine takes, certainly no corner creases, and the claws, yeah, so shiny, right? You can see the reflection. There's 12 books. <sighs> Issue 91, gorgeous copy. And none of these books have ever been pressed or cleaned. You know, some of them are somewhat dirty on the back cover. Look at this one. You know, they're somewhat dirty, but it's my keeper's pile. I'm not gonna spend that much effort, but this one's pretty white, the back cover. Of course, 92. I talked about this book many times in the past. This is my lowest grade copy. Okay, this is about, uh, what did I say it was? I say it's about a 6.5. You know, I had a 7.5, an 8, a 9.2. I saw all of those, okay? But this is a very presentable 6.5, as you can see. Good enough for me. Oh, I love this book. This one is like a 9496 stunner, stunner. And this came from the new Scotland Avenue collection, okay? Many of these books. Uh, the majority of the book that came after is from the new Scotland Avenue. Look at this one. Yeah. Look at that gorgeous cover. Razor sharp. Beauty. Yeah. So is this one. Issue 96. Another Bernie Rice and cover. You can see nine four nine six ish, yeah. This one as well, another one from the new Scotland Avenue collection. So three in a row, 
three in a row, high grade, nine, four, nine, six-ish. As you can see, yeah. Not a Bernie Wrightson cover. Or Neil Adams. Jack Sparling. He is a rare Kaluta cover. Okay, this is also from the New Scotland Avenue collection. So you get four books from the New Scotland Avenue collection, 98. Yeah, look at this. Look at the, for a dark cover. Okay, look at the corners and edge. Yeah. Look at that. And the class. Ooh. Yeah. Issue 100, a beauty. Check this out. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Easy to see why they are in the keeper's pies, right? You don't think I would leave out 103, would you? <laughs> yeah. Check this out for a black cover. Check that out. Look at the class. Yeah. Yeah. Need I say more? <laughs> oh. Another New Scotland Avenue collection. Another Jack Sprawling cover. Yeah. A beauty. This one, I would say, is about a 9-2. I have a couple of spine takes right there, I think. But yeah, the corner. Yeah. Last but not least, this is not from the new Scotland app. This one I bought from eBay, gosh, six, seven years ago. 107. Last but not least, another 9.4 ish. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Beauty, eh? And that's it. I'm sure most of you would agree that these deserve to be in the keeper's pile. Now that we got to this point, by the time I include the Hulk and Iron Man, I think, I think we'll go below 200 keepers. Okay, so below 200 spots left. It's gonna be uber hard to narrow down because less than 200 and I still have the full X-Men run. Yeah, I still have X-Men, I still have uh, Thor, Journey to Mystery. There's still a lot of stuff. So we'll see, we'll see. Anyhow, thanks for watching.